Welcome to this month's episode of Radiate News, your source for all the latest in music news that matters to you. I am your host, Mike Manchild, here to let you know that our host from last month is dead. I killed him. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to our new segment for this month, Time Wasters. This month, your favorite Starbucks soundtrack in Fights on the National recorded a six hour, yes, that's right, six hour rendition of their track Sorrow off their 2010 album, High Violet. As per Pitchfork, fans reported that the band played in front of a swirling ice sculpture for the entire six hours, with drummer Brian Devendorf actually stopping at one point due to the strain before rejoining the band. Uh, here at Radiate, we were so inspired to hold our own little art installation and gather some of our own DJs to play the same song over and over for a week. Mandatory. So let's check in on them now as they enter the final hour of the little performance piece. You, in a god of a vita, baby, don't you know that I'll always be true? almost certainly put up a muse smirk on Henry Rollins' thick mug, two different versions of Black Flag are currently feuding with each other. Yes, it appears that the newly reunited Black Flag, featuring original founding member Greg Jinn, has a cry flag, a band featuring some other dudes like Steven Egerton, as, quote, a fake band performing Black Flag covers in a mailing-in fashion, as per the AV club. In response to all the hullabaloo, we actually reached out to former Black Flag singer and actually all around nice guy Henry Rollins for a short question and answer session. So um, we just wanted to ask you, how do you feel about these two different versions of Black Flag? What a bunch of sellouts. I hate their guts. Wow, um, some scathing words there, Henry. Um, anything else you'd like to add? It's like corporate food. No, the guy behind the, in the kitchen at Olive Garden really doesn't care if you love his linguine. It's just order 37 and he hates his job. Um. Okay, um, hey, hey, and before we let you go, what are your thoughts on Morrissey? In my opinion, Morrissey just embodies every horrible trait that a human can possibly possess. Just jump up and down and enjoy that you're not him. And electronic music? I don't know which came first. The <laughs> rave music or the drugs. Make it come up, you know, get their Macintosh computers out and hire DJ Head. You know, they sampled it. I'm head. DJ head. I know talent. I know talent. No talent. Well, thank you, Harry Rollins, for your candid dialogue with Radiate News. In other news, Google recently announced their new and rather clunky-sounding Spotify killer, Google Play Music All Access. Let's let's read that again. Google Play Music All Access. The the unpunctuated series of words and its attendant streaming service will be available for $9.99 a month, though there is a 30-day free trial for all users. Additionally, it's a Google Flipper gadget or some other such nonsense, so if you're watching this, Google has probably already video drummed this thing into your head. In news that only confuses and depresses me deeply, Rock the Bells has announced this year's lineup and it looks to be a doozy. Seemingly inspired by last year's appearance of that Tupac hologram, or Tupac Resurrection, the motion picture, the Traveling Festival has announced that deceased legends ODB and EZE will make appearances alongside their respective former bandmates, making everybody feel kinda uncomfortable in the process. We at Reed FM are only disappointed the legendary deceased rapper Vanilla Ice will not be making an appearance at this festival. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, it appears that the voice in my head is telling me that Vanilla Ice is not dead. 
Oh, it's amazing. It's just his career. So we're so sorry about that, Mr. Ice. And please accept our sincerest apologies. Imagine that. Hold on. Where are we going? I forgot something. Oh, we here at Radio FM are obviously pretty excited about summer festival season, and we decided to ask some of our DJs about what their most anticipated festivals and acts are this year. Here, have a look. So I'm really looking forward to Lollapalooza this year because The National, of course, is playing, The Cure, uh, Zelia Banks, Crystal Castle, Queens of the Stone Age, really, really looking forward to that. Uh, of course, Henrietta Johnson and the B****s, it's gonna be really, really good. I think, uh, well, one of my true passions in life is the film Total Recall. So I really can't wait until I inevitably spot Colin Farrell or Kate Beckinsale, Kate Bex. Um, and I'm looking forward to ATP this year. Who I'm looking forward to the most at Pitchfork? Uh, definitely the Breeders, Bjork, uh, Wendy and the Super Munchies. Uh, I'm definitely looking for Putrid, uh, Putrid Children. I just love their first album, and I really want to see DJ Head. It's my favorite. Well, thanks for everyone joining Radiate News. I'm your host, Mike Manchild, and stay for later because we have Radiate After Hours. Bye.